one of our goals at Florida State is to take high school kids, especially ones that are intelligent, that get inspired by science and research and, and just want to learn and kind of point them and direct them and move them towards an academic world. So by doing this, because we're here in Panama City, Florida, and this is an ocean-based campus, we're right on the water. It makes sense for us to get students here in Bay County and surrounding counties and bring them here and teach them about the ocean and how to adopt research into the environment in which they live. So we applied for a NOAA Be Wet grant and NOAA looked at it and they thought that there's no way that the, the school superintendent is going to allow high school kids in the water at depths 80 feet, 90 feet, 100 feet to conduct research over a year period. But since we got a letter of recommendation from the school superintendent, they, they said, okay, let's go for it and see how it goes out. And, and uh, they funded us. And that was the beginning of, 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 the, uh, of the NOAA Be Wet program. The focus of the program is artificial reefs and how human impacts affects the artificial reefs surrounding us. So you know, a lot of our sea life, a lot of the fauna, a lot of, a lot of people's living depends on the reefs since we really don't have a lot of natural reefs up here. And while dive boats are tying into them, fishing boats anchor into them, they're actually deteriorating and falling apart at a pretty rapid rate but there's no documentation anywhere on that. So we posed this question to the students and came up with research that relates to documenting, gathering information, and longitudinal study on what occurs in the 12-month period, which isn't long, but it, it, it's enough where we can draw an inference of what's occurring to the reefs. Well, one major thing that we've been working on is how boats tie to the structures and they degrade the structures so they'll fall apart and that's one of the things that we've been measuring whenever we go down is we've been measuring the different structures to see oh this part was here and now it's broken off because someone tied onto it and then it broke off and that could have ruined a fish's home. So if we could make some of the mooring buoys for people to tie off to instead of the structures then that could definitely help the habitats a lot more by having something that's supposed to be tied to and not something as delicate as what we've been doing. So the other sites have mostly been sunk as a, uh, as a public resource to create artificial fishing spots and that's the important, uh, that's what the important work the students are doing is, is to figure out how long those sites are good for, how long the structures have uh, integrity uh, and we'll continue to hold the, uh, the fish life on them for, so we have an understanding of what those taxpayer dollars are doing. NOAA has granted us with all the money to get this program to find research and to dive and be able to go down and measure and see our, all of our sites change and if they don't change and to see how human affects the different sites and there's a little bit of change but because we've only been doing it for a year you can't really tell until you keep doing it. This particular program that we're working with, with these high school kids is a NOAA grant um, it's a NOAA Be Wet grant, so there's several grants around the country, and uh, basically, you know, it's it's the upper tier kids, these 3.5 GPA and higher. I mean, these aren't these aren't the kids. These are the kids that are going to come in and they're going to dedicate themselves and they're going to stay focused, um, and that's what we need for this program. But it's an ongoing degradation study that's put on by NOAA that we um, we have one student that's outside of Bay County. Everybody else is from schools within Bay County, so it's pretty neat. It's fabulous. It's wonderful for the community. The earlier they start, the more prone they are to continuing it within the future. So that's why we're pretty excited about a lot of these kids. Um, a lot of them, you know, are going to do engineering type work, but there's a lot of uh, a lot of what we do with the public safety side and the underwater crime scene. It's not just necessarily crimes; it's bridge collapse, structure collapse. So there's a lot of engineering side to, to what we do. So you don't always have to be in the water, you know, looking for a weapon. It can be something like a bridge collapse, which is actually how this program started the old Hathaway Bridge when the new one was being built, the one we just drove over. Um, actually part of it collapsed, one of the scaffoldings. And this program did the investigation on it and 
did a wonderful job. That's kind of was in its infancy, that's how it started. We're hoping that we get an extended grant where we can do the same thing with a new set of kids and also continue the education that these particular kids. If we can continue this particular set of, of database that we have, it's moving a long way towards possibly implementation of permanent mooring systems that they have elsewhere in the state, which is very, very important because the continually tying into these artificial reef structures is, if you, if you were actually been able to go down and see it from the course of one year, some of the images that you can see, I mean, there's eye beams that are this thick that have collapsed just because over and over and over people tying in. So it's very important to continue this research, whether it be them or the next group, but it's very, very important.